Hi, in this tutorial we will take a look at how we can transform any short code into a custom block and uh, also how to control short codes with block attributes. So in this example we will be using PyCalendar plugin because it's a nice calendar plugin that defines a shortcut, short code, and the short code can also have various parameters that control how the calendar is displayed on the page. So let's take a look at the setup, what we, we are starting with. And uh, yeah, just, just a note, what we will be doing, this approach is applicable to any short code. So we can use it with any plugin, any kind of short codes that, that we want to change or kind of wrap into custom blocks. So we have the Pi calendar um, plugin activated. And of course, we, we have PineGrow activated. We'll be using PineGrow plugin for WordPress. And First, let's just take a look at how the short code is used uh, regularly. So let's go to edit the page event. And if we want to include short code, we have uh, Gutenberg, like the for WordPress block, they have a short code block where we can basically type the short code and then when we view the page on the front end, front end, this is displayed on the page. So this is how the calendar looks like. Okay, but we want to avoid using short codes directly because it's hard to remember all, all these kind of syntax, especially when they have parameters. And if we, want, if we will have content editors who will take care of content of this website, we want to make the process as user-friendly as possible. And typing in the cont like the, the code, the short code is definitely not user friendly and it's very prone to errors. So let's remove this. Update the page and jump into the PineGrow editor. So to keep things simple, I already have like the code, the, the block ready here, and we will go through all the the steps and parts and explain how it works. So first of all, this project is a plugin. So we are exporting it as a like PyCal block and a plugin Slack PyCal block. So this could be anything. And what we have on the page is very simple. So we just have a section. And this section uses block action to define a custom Gutenberg block. So it sets its unique ID, the title, and then if you go down into more options, we are setting block type to dynamic PHP block. So short codes, short codes can only be rendered by PHP, so we cannot use React blocks or even hybrid blocks, we have to use dynamic PHP blocks that are always rendered on the server by PHP code. We can close this. And then because we have, like our short code has uh, uh, parameters, arguments that control how it works. So we are defining these pa parameters as block attributes. So we have type parameter and this controls like the, the post types that are displayed in the calendar. And here we, we set use as none because we, we want to use the value of this attribute as the content, as image, background image, as attribute and so on. So we set none. And then here, because this is like um, a list of predefined values, we are using control type select. And 
Here we are giving the list of all available values. So this has to be, if we are using select, these values have to be kind of hard coded. At the moment, there is no way to just say, OK, get to all available post types or something like that. So we could just use auto. So that would create an input field that would let the user type anything they want. So if you want like really a lot of flexibility, that could be a, a way to do it. But for most projects, the select with the range of available values will do quite well. And then the second attribute is theme. So this controls the display of the calendar. Either it can be like light, dark, depending on user settings, or it can just be fixed to the dark display. So again, these are all shortcode short code options of this particular plugin. And if you would work with another plugin and its shortcodes, then of course, this range of, of options and attributes would be different. So with this, we define the block and we define its editable attributes. But now we also have to use these values to display the shortcode. In this case, code is our friend and code can be very elegantly used in PineGrow alongside all the visual stuff that we support. So let's select the section element and then go into the code. So this opens the element code window that displays just the code of this selected element. So what we can see here is the section element with the CMS uh, block attributes that define the block and the editable fields. And then here inside this section, we have the interesting parts. We have the PHP code that displays the short code with optional parameters included in the short code. So what we do here, it's quite simple code. I think it's easy to adapt. Um, and we have some comments as well. So we start with the base short code. So in this case, it's like the brackets and pi cal and space. And then we are checking if the type parameter is set, if the type block attribute is set, then we will append type equals this attribute value and closed in double quotes. Because if this attribute is not set, then we don't want the short code to have the type value. As, uh, it depends how short codes are implemented for each particular plugin. But in this case, if we, if we pass in empty type, um, the short code will not work. So what we need is if the type is non-defined, then we don't want the typed option of the short code to be abandoned to the code. And then we are checking the same for the team parameter. And if team block attribute is set, then we append the team shortcode option with this value to the shortcode. And then at the end, we have to close the shortcode, like with the closing bracket. And now, like this part was just constructing the shortcode programmatically. And now when we have it, we simply call do shortcode, that's a WordPress function, and we pass in the shortcode uh, string that we constructed up here. And that's all that we have to do. So now let's uh, export the plugin. Um, I wrote the events. And now we can include our PyCal block. And we can't see much in the in the front end, like in the editor. And then again, this depends on the way how the plugin implements the short code. Um, it should be quite easy, I guess, to, to just 
to display the calendar here as well, but there must be some like logic in the plugin that says, okay, we are in the editor, so we won't fetch the data, we won't display the calendar. But again, that's, that's really plugin specific. And if the plugin would display the calendar here, it, it would be even better. So, because we could see what will be displayed on the page as well. Okay, and here now we have two block properties. One is type, where we can either leave it empty and display all events, or we can display only certain events, for example, concerts. And we can select the team, like Adapti or Dark. Let's di leave this empty. And if we update and view page, we can see here is our calendar. And then let's go back to edit and select the calendar block. So instead of concerts, uh, oh yeah, I, I, we, we have two post types that define events. I forgot to tell you about that. Um, so we have concerts and we have lectures. And I was using CPT UI plugin to easily define these two post types. Doesn't really matter how they are defined. So what we have to do is here in, in the block attributes of and the type, you also have to add the lecture custom post type and export the plugin. And let's go back to our page. And now we can select a lecture, update, view page. And now we see calendar for our upcoming lectures. In this way, of course, we could also add other things in this block, like we could add uh, a title, saying events or we could even combine multiple short codes uh, we could combine dynamic data getting like some parameters from custom post fields or other um, wordpress actions so this approach is really really flexible and it can Let's us integrate short code into our custom blocks so that the end users who will actually take care of this content have a really efficient way to manage it without typing in the, the short codes and all their options. So hope this was useful. Have a good day.